Hello, and welcome to Eldritch. Uh, my name is Necromorrior, and uh, I'm here to play Eldritch, which is, uh, oops, okay, I'm going to start this over. Hello, and welcome to Eldritch. My name is Necromorrior. And this is uh this is gonna be my first let's play. So I guess we'll just uh jump right in and see see what this is all about. I've played this a little bit. I made this character. Uh gave him a beard because I have a beard. <laughs> and I like the suspenders. So Alright, let's see what this book says. Oh, right, <laughs> okay. That's not important. Leaderboards wait. Elder Ridge Library, Borrower, Ledger. Okay, so... Hmm. So that must mean this game takes place in the early 1900s, which makes sense since uh, Eldritch is based on the works of H.P. Lovecraft, uh, who lived and died in the early 1900s. Oh, page two. Where's page one? <clears throat> this library seems to go on forever. I am no longer certain that there is a way out. It feels as if I am somehow reliving the same experiences day after day, endlessly. If I am to find an exit from this madness, I believe it will be through some obscene glowing through of those ah, it will be through those obscene glowing books. There is unimaginable power in those pages, and unspeakable horror. It seems that the spirits of ancient deities lie dormant within the books, though I know not for what reason. But their collected power must be the key to my incarceration in this labyrinth. Alright, so someone was trapped here. I'm assuming I'm trapped here now. <laughs> uh, this is some sort of altar room. I did play this a little bit. I just tried not to read any of the books. Uh, just to get a handle on the game. Here's another book. Uh, controls, leaning, C is a really weird crouch button, left shift to sprint, that's usual, and spacebar to jump. Okay. I'm not really sure what these artifacts are for yet. I just know that they're all over the place. So we got this bank. So I got some books. Now that one leads to the asylum, I believe, which is... don't want to go there. And this one over here is the expansion pack, which is actually free. Uh, which is Mountains of Madness, I believe. But let's look at some of these other books. Oh, dang it. Volume 4. Where are the rest of the volumes? I've got a bottle now. Uh, oh, I read about this too. This is a special thing. I'll do it later. I don't want to do it just yet. Okay. Well, doesn't seem to be as many books to read right away as I expected there to be. They're around somewhere. Anyway, so I need to get on with this. So this book should take me to a new location, according to that other book. 
Ah, oh, damn it. I thought I fixed that. It has intros when you go through the books, and I tried to reset my save data so that I'd be able to read them in the game while I do this. Didn't really work. Something quite peculiar has happened to me. I feel the need to record this in the event that I should not return. The last thing I recall, I was examining that curious book in the library. And now I have found myself in a dangerous world full of lurking monsters and treacherous traps. If my research is correct, then I am in a lost temple to the ancient do god, I almost said dog, <laughs> to the ancient god Dagon. A powerful relic is rumored to be kept in the depths of this world. Perhaps it holds the key to my escape. Now, for those of you who don't know who Dagon is, I suggest you go read the story named Dagon. <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> so the exit is somewhere down here. You can see it, thanks to the compass. I don't have anything to really fight back with yet, so I'm avoiding the fish people. God, that is a loud sound effect. Whew, okay. Ooh, dynamite. Oh. Uh. Ooh, oh crap. Oh, damn. Okay. There's not a lot going on yet, but whew, this is creepy. This game has a lot of atmosphere, that's for sure. Got it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that thing is, but it's some kind of... I guess it's some kind of bug, it looks like. Ooh, I can get down here. Alright. Through the door. Oh, that's that is really creepy. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, there's a whole pile of them over there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I got myself a gun, but I only got one shot left. Now, what I noticed is these guys, they take two shots if they know where you are, and one shot if they don't.
All right, I'm gonna try to. Oh, uh oh. Uh Gotta conserve ammunition where I can. So this game is a, is a procedurally generated. So each of these levels, every time you play it, it's different. So this is not the same as when I played it. It just has all the same enemies and such, and textures. And it's, oh, it's really cool though. Okay. How do I get over there? I mean, I got this dynamite, but I want to save. Ooh, key. I want to save the dynamite for later because if I can, I'd like to bring the dynamite to uh, to the library. Is this worth it? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, and I even got more keys out of the deal. This is totally worth it. Uh, the dagger's always nice, but... Daggers are kind of everywhere. Oh god! Oh shoot! I don't know what I pressed, but it made me drop my my weapon. Is it dead? Oh my god, that was... So was that X? No, X swaps. Was it Z? Okay, I, I clicked Z on the keyboard by accident. And it made me lose my, drop my weapon. Whew, that thing startled me. I haven't seen that thing before. Okay, next floor. Oh, and there's a statue of Dagon over here. Hmm. That'll give me some something I really want. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna call it here for my first episode. I don't, I don't know how long I've actually been recording, but uh, the next floor will have to wait. So until next time, uh, I don't have a catchphrase. Goodbye.